Here is a quick overview of cloth and solid body, rigid body dynamics. First we'll bring in a floor with a plane because the actual scene floor won't work. Dynamics won't work with it for some reason. I don't know why it's stupid, but just that's the way it is. So we stretch out the plane <coughs> so it's a good size floor area make it editable. All objects to be dynamically used have to be made editable. Now let's bring in a cube. Make it smaller with the scale tool. Lift it up out of the ground with F3, move tool, lift, match it to the ground. Make it editable. F1, red handle, slide it over, bring in a plane, make it significantly smaller, make it editable, F3 to lift it up above the box, F4 to bring it over the top above the box, F1, there we go. This will name cloth. Double click is how you do it. Box and floor. Now we need another interacting object, so we'll bring in the sphere, scale it down small, F3, lift it up so it's sitting on the ground. There we go, make it editable. F4. Pull it back some, F1, there we go. We'll leave that the name it is, or we can call it ball. I'll just call it ball. All right, now, for the box, it needs a cloth collider. And for interactive happenings with the ball, it also needs to be having a dynamic rigid body dynamic with a mass of one, which it is, a collision on box. Elasticity, a little bit of bounce, not much. 40%. Nothing on the other two numbers. The floor needs to interact with the box and with the cloth and with the sphere. So the floor needs a cloth collider and a rigid body dynamic mass of zero because the floor is supposed to floor so the floor shouldn't fall so no mass collision set to full elasticity zero no bounce now the cloth is the cloth so we give it a cloth tag the ball needs to smash into the cube and interact with the cloth so it needs a cloth collider and a rigid body dynamic so that we can move the sphere around manually we give it zero mass because we designate how it moves not using any kind of uh, three laws of of physics uh, see collision on full elasticity zero all right. Now we need a project solver in dynamics. We need a gravity to affect the cube and the ball. Well, not necessarily the ball, but mostly to affect the cube with this ground surface. Put the gravity in the solver object. Click on solver object, main. Set it for midpoint. 32 sampling, energy loss 5, that's fine. Uh, details, collision apps will set to 0 .001. Little trick I picked up from other tutorials. Now, we take all rigid body dynamic things 
anything that has a rigid body dynamic tag and put them into the project solver as well. The cloth can stay out because it's not going to be affected by the project solver. It has its own dynamics with cloth. Now, the project solver, ob solver object rather, shall calculate what happens when the sphere impacts the cube and when the cube interacts with the floor object. But first we need to move the ball. So let's take where it is, give it a keyframe on zero, up to frame 40, have the ball come smashing through, and by frame 70, come on, pull over, up to frame 70, move the ball back and over here, snap it. And then the ball will stay there for the rest of the last 20 frames. Now, let's calculate the cache for the cloth. Select the cloth tag, cache, calculate, and I shall return. Alright, everything is cached, so now when I hit play, the ball will come over, smack into the cube. The cloth will cling around the cube the ball will touch the cloth a little bit and everything will go as you see here. Cloth comes down, ball smashes into the cube, cloth interacts and the ball finishes moving. And that's the end of the story for that. All that's left to do now is to render it off as an animation. Same as before, render, make a preview, full render, all frames, those stats are fine, AVI, or since I'm using AVI, let's do quick time options. Let's see, best depth, uh, sure why not. Animation, yes, best depth, everything's fine, hit OK. And the final OK, and the process will begin. Usually you'll use AVI, and then options, set the uh, codec to full frames uncompressed at the bottom of the list of all the codecs and then hit the final OK and as you can see on the status bar it's rendering the animation as we speak putting it all together and I shall return when the animation is done and here is the finished animation which I have set to open in my favorite QuickTime movie player VLC media player. <coughs> and here's the final result. The ball swings along, smashes into the cube, the cloth interacts with everything, and the ball finishes up in its final position. And that, my friends, is how you create your own animated uh, dynamics, cloth and rigid body animation. Thank you and goodbye.